Okay, so welcome back. This is video number two, and we are going to talk about researching profitable plugin ideas. So don't worry about anything else except for getting an idea of what's out there and different ideas that you could potentially create. Now, obviously, if you already have a plugin in mind, you probably could skip this video, but it's a good video to watch just in case you decide to have another idea in the future. So let's do some quick research to show you what plugins are in demand by looking at what we call consumer demand. And that's really what drives whether or not your plugin is going to be profitable or not, whether or not there is a need out there. So there are two ways of doing this. Either there are many plugins out there already and you can look at them and look what's wrong with them and see what people are saying and improve on that, which is actually the easiest way to go about doing this and can be very profitable. Or you can develop your brand new idea, plugin doesn't exist or anything like that. But with that, it's a little bit more time to try to figure out consumer demand, but there are ways of going about doing that. So consumer demand is really, really important here. So I really want to drive that home. All great WordPress plugins are born out of problems that people are facing. So if this is a problem that you're facing, that's great. Then you can associate with that. You know exactly how that feels. If this is a problem that you do not face, but you can research it and figure out how people are feeling about it, what people are doing about it to solve that issue and how your WordPress plugin can speed the process up, then that's a good thing as well. But you really want to get into the brain of the consumer. So let me go ahead and show you how to find consumer demand through the use of free keyword tools and how to start with Google and research from that point on. Now, before I jump in and start talking about consumer demand or anything like that, I want to talk briefly about what you should be looking for as you're looking for the consumer demand. Now, obviously, when it comes to any type of software or WordPress plugin, what you're trying to look for is you're trying to find some sort of tedious process that takes time and it's a very manual process. So what I mean by that is something that somebody actually does either on their computer or wherever else and it's just taking a lot of time and you have to speed that process up and they're willing to pay for the ability to speed that process up all right so if you look at most wordpress plugins they basically speed a process up or they help you in some sort of way they basically take some process that could take anywhere from a couple hours to a couple days or even a couple weeks and it speeds the whole process up thereby saving you time that's one of the reasons why most people buy pieces of software because it automates the process so as you're looking through for consumer demand or as you're looking for plugins you want to find something that is sort of a pain point meaning it's really frustrating because you have to take all this time to actually do it all right so if we head back over to google here and if we think about it for just a second if we think that softwares often are born from frustrations so you can go to google and type something like top frustrations and let google complete it for you such as top frustrations in life top frustrations at work top frustrations in gaming so you could think about something you enjoy yourself or something that you have done that takes time on the computer and you want to speed the process up. All right. But usually this process with a WordPress plugin needs to be something that is on your website. So top frustrations related to maybe your website and then go from there and try to figure out what these top frustrations are. So if you just take some time to just go through the articles, so let's open up these here and you may or may not find the WordPress plugin that you're looking for, but you're kind of getting a, an idea of what is happening on the website itself. 
So we can see like playing messenger, lacking communication, changes, continuous edits. So maybe you could develop a WordPress plugin around that. Wavering deadlines, time management. You can develop a WordPress time management plugin. You can go through here. We can go to a different article here. So this is Quora and we see this guy says providing high quality fresh content. Maybe you could develop a plugin that pulls in YouTube videos or content curation to make it so it's easy for people to develop content. Or maybe you can develop something that allows them to create uh, fresh articles uh, really, really fast without plagiarizing, of course. And then we go down and let's look at a different article. What are your top three frustrations with your website? Too much content that overwhelmed the reader user design and user experience, directing the user to the right content and workflow. So going through here, what you're looking for is a pattern. If you can see several people saying I have problems because just finding fresh content is just a, a big roadblock in my life. If you see tons and tons and tons of people saying that the next thing you want to do is you want to head on over to wordpress.org slash plugins over here. And then you want to type that in. So we could type in something like time management and see what we get. So as we can see a good amount of plugins and we can see if we can see more plugins, that means there is definitely a demand. Now, if you see a lot of plugins, but there's no feedback or ratings or anything like that, that might not be a good sign. But another thing you can do is you can see, a lot of times you'll have like a really good plugin, but nobody leaves any reviews, right? So we got four and a half stars out of five, 22 reviews. But if you look down on the bottom left-hand corner of these boxes, you can see that 40,000 people installed it. All right, so that definitely shows there is a demand for that plugin. So if we look over here, easy appointments, 3,000 installs, 100,000 installs for events manager. So we can see the demand by looking at wordpress.org slash plugins. But Jetpack here is obviously created by WordPress. So obviously they have 3 million active installs. So that means that 3 million people installed it on their WordPress site. So what you want to do is you want to go through here and Find a WordPress plugin that really stands out to you. So let's say we want to click on this one here and you want to get an idea of what it does. And then you want to take a look at the one star ratings. Why one star ratings? Because you want to find people's frustrations. You want to see if you can find a pattern. Now, if this WordPress plugin is really good and you're asking, how can I compete with these guys? Well, you can look at the one star ratings and see where this plugin falls short. If constantly people are saying this falls short because of this, 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 and this, you can go out and create a WordPress plugin based on that particular shortcoming. And then you come out with it and you know that it's going to sell because you have so many people that are frustrated. Now, obviously you need to make sure that people are willing to buy for that. And we'll talk more about that later. But that's just a simple process that you can take by going to Google, typing in top frustrations website or things I hate about my website or, or something related to WordPress and then find those and dig deep into those pain points. You can do the same thing with YouTube. You can do the same thing with Facebook. Use a search bar at the top and find frustrations that people have. So that's a good way to kind of figure out consumer demand in the terms of figuring out how many people are frustrated with the specific problem. And that's really what we're trying to drive home. All right, so let's move on to the next video.